Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, in this video, we're going to be taking up my very first six star to rank two. And I had to think about this for a little bit. Let's take a look here. These are the six stars that I have currently. All right. Now, honestly, out of all of these, we can narrow it down to two. Omega Red and Guillotine 2099. Now, Guillotine 2099 is an awesome champion, and she does not need to be awakened. Now, I was going to take her up to rank two before the Abyss came out, because she looked like she was going to be an MVP for that place. However, that turned out not to be the case. Because of the hit counter cap, it basically neuters her. Just as she gets up to her damage, ramping it up, she's got to stop. And you have to ramp her up for every fight. I'm not going to do that. So, guillotine 2099, sorry. Omega Red, on the other hand, he needs to be awakened. But he's not useless, unawakened. And we'll talk a little bit more about Omega Red not awakened and what he's able to do. But let's take a look at the other reason that I want to take him up. Let's look at my catalyst situation. You see I have this mutant that's going to expire in eight days. For me, that's way too close. I've got some T2 alphas. 11 days out. Got some more T2 alphas. We've got plenty of time on these guys. Some more mutant. We've got a T5 basic in my overflow. More T2 alphas. So it looks like mutant is the order of the day. And I just so happen to have a mutant six star that I want to take up. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead, get this guy here. Now, before we do it, let me uh, look at his info real quick so that you guys can see his attributes before we take him up to rank two. So you see what hero rating he has. I am running suicides, more on that later. Challenger rating, okay. And let's take a look here. All right. And you can see he has 23,564 health. 3,148 attack. So let's go ahead and take him up. And let's do it. And with that, Omega Red becomes my first rank two six star. Let's go ahead and rank him up. Now, one of the reasons that I wasn't too bothered by taking him up to uh, rank two unawakened is because I run suicides. Now, when I run suicides, I have double edge, which puts a bleed on me. That bleed activates his death field. And that death field increases his damage capabilities or capacity quite a bit. Uh, normally, he can only put 10 death spores on his opponent. But while death field is active, it goes up to something like 30. So because I'm running suicides, he's actually not that bad, even unawakened. All right. Let's give him one more of these. And there we go. 
He is now maxed out. You see what you need to take him to rank three. I'm nowhere near that. And one day I will be able to awaken him. And if I get a five star, I'm still going to take the five star up because I can awaken the five star and get their sig levels up higher. So the five star for right now would be able to do more damage than this six star. But I don't have a five star Omega Red. All right, let's take a look at Omega Red. You see his health went up quite a bit, almost uh, 10,000 more. His attack has gone up about 1,000 more, a little over 1,000 more. All right, so it's a pretty, pretty nice uh, upgrade. Let's look at his abilities. We're not going to go into it. I'm going to make a separate video, uh, and we'll go into each of these things a little bit more in depth. All right, so not too much to go through. All right, now let's take him on a little journey and see a little bit about what he can do. All right, so you see the team that I'm going in here with. I basically activated all of his synergies and we'll take a look at them here in a moment. So we've got Metal Mayhem. That's going to give him 4% more critical damage. We've got X Assassins. Uh, and you can see what each of the synergies is going to give him. And in this fight, he has class advantage as well. So what I'm curious about is whether he's actually still viable as a rank two six star unawakened because I always say he needs to be awakened. He needs to be awakened. So let's see what he can do. So the basic strategy, as you can see, I start out with death field active. That's because of double edge. He is not bleed immune. All right. He doesn't take any damage or he takes 90% reduced damage. But if you have at least one point in coagulate, in the coagulate mastery, he will take zero damage from the bleed and he's poison immune. So he is very suicide friendly. Look at this damage. He's not awakened. All right. So. In order to activate the death field again, you want to fire off that special too. And that allows me to stack up those death spores. Look at the damage. All right. I fired off a heavy, but this is insane. And he's not awakened. So just imagine if he were awakened and had some sig levels on him, it would be through the roof. So. I have no regrets so far of ranking him up to two, even unawakened. I think he's going to be very useful to me. Uh, now, if you don't run suicides, that's another story. I probably would not take him up if you're not going to run suicides. Um, if he's not awakened. Awakened, of course, is a no brainer. All right. But just look at this. He demolished Winter Soldier. That is crazy. So I'm happy. I'm happy with my rank up. Now, of course, I wouldn't have ranked him up had I not had those things in my overflow, Mutant, T2 Alphas, and I did not want to wait till the very last minute and there's a level up event going on right now. So I decided just just go ahead and pull the trigger. All right. So that was a crazy fight. It would be even quicker if he were awakened. But let's see one more fight. So those of you who have done variant might remember this fight here. Korg. He is normally a very difficult defender. And Omega Red is a great counter to Korg. But on this node, you have to deal with poison. Omega red is poison immune. No problem. 
but you've also got to deal with this global. A few globals, particle protector, micro reflect, size matters. Bottom line, Omega Red is a large champion, so his normal attacks can be glanced and he will take damage back, all right, at a high rate. So what you're going to see here, this is the first time I'm trying this fight here, and I don't do it all that well, but hopefully you can see his power. All right, so you see all the glancing that's happening there with the normal attacks. That's why I'm getting damage back. It's not because of Korg's ability. It's because of the global and the fact that Omega Red is not a extra large champion. All right, so the basic strategy that I should be adopting for most of this fight is to avoid regular attacks and to just do parry and heavy. Uh, I messed up there. But the thing with Korg is that when he has those uh, his rock shield up, he will shrug off stuns at an alarming rate. But the more spores you have on your opponent, the less their ability accuracy or defensive ability accuracy. I'm always confused about that. But basically, he's not going to shrug off my stuns uh, very often at all, even with the rock shield up. All right, so you see here, I was able to parry him, no problem. And things are going pretty well. So, yeah, no regrets taking up Omega Red. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. What do you think about me ranking up Omega Red? He is a true beast. And you all have a blessed day.